Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we are going to unbox the new X96 Max Plus. You can see in the back we have 4 with 32GB and we will see what we have in the package itself. So here in the box you can see we immediately it shows the X96 Max Plus. You can see very good design and good looking. In the back we have the information 4GB of RAM and 32GB of RAM which I mentioned before in the beginning. At the back we have DC, Optical, HD, Internet, AV and the IR plugs. In the side we have USB 3.0, 2.0 and we have an SD card port as well. We will use that later and see how we use them. Maybe it gives you an idea if you, in case you need to use it. Underneath all that we have the cables that are necessary to power this. Starting from the controller you can see very good looking and good material. We have the HDMI cable wrapped up as I always say for protection. And we have the power brick itself to power on the box. As well as the user manual not to forget to mention it. You can see right here in case you need to see how to connect the cables and how to do the first steps of the smart box this will be very helpful so now after we set up our box you can see here we have all the apps that are installed in this smart box we have here the settings wi-fi apps here at the network we will find our wi-fi which is connected it's working pretty good we have here applications we will see here all the apps that are installed and we have the droid settings which we will find a couple of options to customize for ourselves we have here screen resolution as you can see display mode colors and other stuff display mode we can change the resolution we have screen positioning zoom in or zoom out in case you want to customize to fit your uh, monitor or TV. After that we have a couple of second settings more like audio output, power key, picture and the more settings and the more settings it will open up the settings uh, of the box. Here at the HDMI control we can see we have a couple of second settings as well to change and the audio output as well we have the option to change the output of the audio we have the power key definition as well as the picture here is the picture we can change the shape we can change the colors brightness all these kind of stuff so it fits your needs you can see the brightness goes very low contrast as well structure etc you will have all these ready to customize here at the more settings as I said it will open up the settings and the options are very good there you have more options so it's easier for you to customize things here we have the account and sign in in case you want to account to open more than one account you can we have here apps, all the apps that are installed in the smart box you will see right here. We have the megabytes that these took from our storage. We can force stop them, uninstall them from here and all these options. So it's very good to know where and what you can do. We have here app permission. You can see how, how many permissions per app do we have. And we have special app at the bottom device preference is again plenty of more options we have here about we have starting from system update device name we can restart it legal information model and version of the android you can read all about here at this part here we have date and time we are set at the automatic date and time you can set it manually we have the language as well, you can change the language as you can see we have plenty of them, so it's not 
a problem if you are in another country we have device here keyboard and auto fill at the sound we will find some information or some settings to customize for sound we have the storage here in case you want to see how many storage did you use and how many storage storage you are available to use next we have the screensaver which is a very good option we, you, you have plenty of options here to change from the screensaver and we have the minutes to customize where to start you can see if you press immediately it shows the clock which we let it as a clock you have options other options as well at the location you can see it's on we have security and restriction install unknown apps next we have the accessibility here we will find caption which is which we have more option to customize from font color etc and we have high here high quantity we have reset we will see in the next video how to reset and factory reset your smart box So this was the settings for the X96 Max Plus. You will find the system update here in case any of them is available and as I said the reset option again. Back at the menu as you can see we have the applications. We have the ADA64, one of the best apps that we use. Here we will find all the information and data about your smart box. Starting from the system, you can see all the information about the system. CPU, display, network, battery, Android, device, thermal, sensor, etc. So you will find the data for every of these options in detail, which is a very good thing to know about your smart box. Next we have the root check is similar to the ADA64 but the root check shows less information than the ADA but again it depends whether you want to see this information or not. In case you want go ahead download the ADA64 and read about your smart box. We have here the Google Play as you can see in the smart box the first page of the Google Play doesn't work but if you search your specific app that you want to download it will show you immediately and you can install it for free without any problem you can see we have tiktok here one of the apps that is most used and you can see how it starts to download immediately next we have the apk pure which is another app to download stuff this one works even in the first page and if you search your app it works again either way these apps are free to download very good and very fast downloads which makes these apps very good and very easy to use after the apk we have the optoid as well this app works same as these two before very good very easy to use and it shows all the social media apps or games that you need and also it suggests you the latest and greatest games or apps again it shows the tiktok immediately and you are able to download it Now we are at the browser, you can see Google Chrome works pretty good. Let's try fast.com to show you that the browser works and also to test our internet. Not the fastest, not the best, but it's right here. Also we have the YouTube which everyone use. It works perfect, let, let me show you. You can see immediately it opens up the pages and the videos we have the one the only Zack King in the first page and let's try one of the, our test videos so that we do in 4k 60 fps Costa Rica this is the video that we always test you can see let's click it
it opens up immediately we have the 4k video showing our playing and very good quality is showing pretty good and it's playing without any problem so all these apps works and let me show you what i meant when i said we will see how to use the usb here at the file browser we insert our usb and as you can see we downloaded asphalt and pubg and other stuff that we tested before also we downloaded some videos that like we saw the same that we saw in the youtube the costa rica 4k 60 fps and let's see how it plays from usb you can see again it shows the video the same as in youtube very good looking and you have your uh, the option to download stuff from your usb into your smart box and that let us know that we have plenty of option so you get creative with it and this is another option to download or watch stuff so guys this was all for today's video in showing you the x96 max plus i hope this video was interesting and helpful if so hit the like button subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart box